All right, let's see what you guys can do with this equation. Solve 2 fifths x plus 1 fifteenth equals 3 fourths x minus 17 over 20. Just like the last problem, we need to identify the LCD. Can you identify the LCD in this problem? Or is it just a little bit more complicated? When you're trying to find the LCD, there are a lot of different ways we have about finding that. One of the things that I do is I start with the largest denominator, which is 20. You know that your common denominator has to be a multiple of 20. So that means it could be 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, one of those guys. Okay. Now, does 4 go into 20 evenly? Yeah. Yeah. So, 4 and 20, the LCD would be 20. But does 15 go into 20? No. Not evenly. So you need to go through your multiples of 20. The next one is 40. Would 15 go into 40? No. no. Go to the next multiple of 20, which is what? 16. Does 15 go into 60? No. 15 goes into 60. Since 4 went into 20, you know 4 goes into 60. Does 5 go into 60? Mm -hmm. yes. Your LCD is 60. So guess what I'm going to do with that? Um, Multiply everybody by 60, and if it makes you feel better, you can do 60 over 1. That might do better for you. Multiply everything times 60 over 1. If this truly is a common denominator, all of those denominators that I have will reduce away when I multiply times the LCD. So what happens for this first piece? Five goes into 60 12 times, so what does this whole term, what does this whole thing give me? 24x. It gives me 24x. And then what about this guy? 15 goes in here, I get 4, so 4 times 1 is 4. What about here? 45, 45 x. 4 goes into 15, so I get 45 x. Then what? 20 goes in 3 times, so I get minus 51, do you all agree? Okay. Now finish solving this. What are you going to do? Where do things go? Wait, what was that? I could, you know, I, could, I can subtract 4, but I'd really like to have my lead yeah. coefficient to be positive, but you know what? I'm gonna, you, you said that, so I'm going to do that. If anything goes wrong, it's all your fault. <laughs> so I'm moving the constants to the right. My variables must go to the left, so that's minus 45x. Well, you wouldn't do that? That's what you just told me to do. I would have caught on to it. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm, I can't erase my markers. Look, it doesn't erase. <laughs> So I'm kind of stuck with what I got now. Thanks for messing me up. So what's 24 minus 45x? Negative 21x equals what? Negatives all over the place. You know what? I'm feeling pretty negative myself. <laughs> so what do I do now? Negative 21. Divide by negative 21. So what does x equal? Positive, right? Negative divided by negative is positive. Positive 55 over 21. Question? No? I've never seen it in the, the, the answer with where there's two negative, two negative numbers on, on top of each other like that. Then you yeah, negative divided by negative is what? It's positive, so those negative factors are going to cancel to give you a positive factor. First time I've seen it. Well, see, you won't see something like this if you always make sure that your coefficient of x is positive. You'll never see that. Question, Mariah. I may have been my 
addition, but I took the 51 and went over to the left side. If you take the 51 so to the left, you have positive 55. Yeah, so it was negative 4 plus 51. Right no, this is this is a plus four right here. Oh, that's gonna be the problem. One small sign will make big change. Okay. 